Good morning, and oh, welcome back, or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day two of Explore. We're going to explore legs, um, how we bend them, how we fold them, how that doesn't happen. And so some of the things are going to be challenging for your feet. I know um, if you have a tendency towards bunions or that if you wear shoes, everybody, that we're not using our feet like, you know, that we're not folding them, we're not sitting on them. And so some of the things today will be challenging. So go slowly, go steadily. Um, that over time, over the next 21 days, let there be a progressive, steady progress as we move deeper into exploring different parts of ourselves. Um, so come sit on your mat and let us light our candle and just meditate for two minutes. Um, turn on the clock. Great, come. I have this beautiful um, oil, it's by Absolute Aroma, it's called Romance, and it's a blend of rose and uh, orange oil. <gasps> so amazing, wow, it's like, oh, it's amazing. So I'll, um, I'll stick it up on my YouTube group, on my Facebook group, uh, The Yoga with Kira. And so it's just, I just love it. Yeah, for me, as I take a smell, I can feel the, it's like a sense of a rising or an opening in my heart. And something happens in my belly as well as I smell this. What happens for you as you smell your aromatherapy? What's the physical sensation of this? Nice. And just rubbing down to your arms, rubbing down to your legs. And then we shall sit. So just pausing, settling in. Finding your ground, that sense of in this moment, what are the physical sensations that I can feel of ground, of weight, of contact with the floor? And then as I breathe, as I connect, what are the sensations of breath in this moment? Can I settle with this? Can I be with all of this right now? Oh, there's something arising now in my diaphragm, in my heart, in my belly. There's a, been a few big things happening the last few days, so I can really just feel myself meeting that in my physicality. I'm just being present to all of this. Nice. And then from all the different sensations that you feel as we're ending up now, what feels like wellness in your body right now? What part, what place, what layer of you that when you connect to it, you feel a sense of okayness, sense of resource. Nice. How awesome. So come rest into a child's pose. 
and in your child's pose i want you to have your toes tucked under so that instead of your toes being flat that your toes are standing in your child's pose so your toes it's like the base of your toes you're folding into your feet and for me i having my head down yeah i prefer my head up a little bit with my head on my hands and i'm then just creating a little bit of pressure backwards so i'm moving my bum towards my heels and i'm noticing the difference between my two feet is there a difference between your two feet how would you send your breath into your feet right now and as always if what you're doing is agony okay then you're going too hard you're pushing too hard you're too deep into the movement outside of your range of normal life so we're expanding normal ranges of motion rather than trying to do something exceptional so if it's too strong then move your elbows a little bit more forward and take the weight out of your bum so the closer backwards your elbows are and your head is the more weight there is back into your feet just feel that how do you take the weight out of your feet and make it easier nice bring your toes to flat sit your bum back towards your heels and so there's things that can be getting in the way here or that can be also informing you of the movement your knees might be saying hmm, this is as far as i can go your hip your lower back nice tuck your toes under sit your bum back towards your heels with your toes standing and breathe down into your feet and then bring your toes to flat sit your bum back nice bring both hands to the floor tuck your toes under pull back into your downward dog and find your calves and lean into the sensation of your calves whatever way you do that for me i stretch one leg i like doing them as individuals because my legs are really different and so one calf when i stretch into it it has one particular sensation and then the other calf has a different sensation so i travel from pushing one leg back to pushing the other one back and i'm really feeling into my calves opening into my feet i'm widening my toes i'm widening my fingers and i'm leaning into just exploring movement how would you roll on the balls of your feet so my heels are in the air and i'm rolling across the the deep ball pads of my feet and then roll in the other direction nice there's um there is a part of that circle that feels just glorious in my feet and in my calves oh, it's very nice bend one knee really lengthen into the other bend one knee lengthen into the other nice bring both knees to the floor Bring your toes to flat, sit your bum back towards your heels. I don't know if I said this yesterday, but recently I've been getting a cramp in one of my legs. And I was thinking, you know, I take my magnesium, I go swimming in the sea, I do cold water every single day, I stretch, I walk. I'm really conscious of using my toes. When I walk, I walk barefoot. I walk barefoot in the grass. I wear barefoot shoes. <laughs> you know, it's like, how could it be that I'm getting a cramp in my calf? And then I realized I wasn't exploring other kinds of movement with my feet. It's really fascinating. So my cramps are now really changing. And it was just this sense of awakening into my feet. Push back into your downward dog. And then step your right foot a foot forward so my right foot is now forward and my left foot is back where it was in my downward dog and then lengthen back into your downward dog here and as i do that my belly and my chest on the right are touching and i'm leaning in a different way into the calf into the achilles tendon into the deep of that right hip there's always space to explore to deepen 
Nice. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot forward. Round a foot forward. And lean into the backwards, like as if you're trying to do a downward dog with that right leg. And as a result, you're going to compress a bit more into that left leg. Left heel is dropping. As a result, you have a sense of really meeting the back of your calf, the Achilles tendon, the deep of your foot. Nice. Both feet parallel. And slowly walk all the way back and come all the way up to stand. Great. So standing on your mat, lift your heels, drop them down. So how controlled can you be as you lift and drop your heels? For me, if I stare at something really steadily, my balance is better. Mostly. Can you lift and drop your heels without letting your heels land? So you go to a hover and then you rise again. Hover, rise again. Hover, rise again. Super. Keep your, bring your left foot flat, keeping your right ball of your foot on the floor, roll the ball of your foot on the floor. And really feel like as you do this, feel like you're leaning into your big toe. Lean into the big toe. Like feel like, mm, there's my big toe. And then do the same again and lean into the big toe. And I have a feeling of like, I'm just massaging the mobility of my big toe as I do this. Nice. And then roll from the baby toe side of your foot onto the big toe side of your foot. Baby toe side, big toe side. And as you roll onto the baby toe side, find the stretch on the outside of your leg. And as you roll onto the big toe side, find the compression on the outside of your leg. So feel that. Lengthening, shortening. Lengthening, shortening. Notice your face, not your hands probably using them to help your foot move. Nice. And then roll along on the, the heel of your foot. How would you, like with your toes up, how would you roll the heel of your foot into the floor? Like you're putting out a cigarette or squishing something really deeply into the ground. And then roll the heel of your foot in the other direction. My face is really trying to help me here. <laughs> Great, uh, other side. So right foot is flat on the floor, roll the ball of the left foot on the floor, lean into your big toe. Every time you pass by, you're like, vroom. really meet the big toe. And roll in the other direction. I'm really trying to use the floor in a really powerful way as feedback, as a massaging surface for my foot. Notice your hands, notice your face. <laughs> roll onto the baby toe side, feel the stretching on the outside of your leg. And then roll onto the big toe side, feel the compression or the shortening on the outside of your leg. And travel from one to the other. Shortening, lengthening. Shortening, lengthening. And just feel that. How much mobility is available here? Nice. Bring your heel forward. Toes are off the floor. Roll your heel on the floor like you're grinding down. You're pushing a stone into the ground. And then roll in the other direction. Wow, this foot has a different kind of movement. Not better, not worse, just different. It has a different sense of connectivity. Oh, nice. Super. Come back to straight. Lift all your toes off the floor. Expand into your fingers. And then squeeze your fingers. Squeeze your toes. Expand. Squeeze. Expand. Squeeze. Nice. Cool. Super. So bring your feet wide. And so now we were doing a little bit of this yesterday. Push into the baby toe side of your feet and feel the length at the outside of your feet as you do this. Reach down into your fingers. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And just get really tall from the baby toe side of your feet through the outsides of your legs, the sides of your waist, all the way up into your fingertips. Nice. Face, uh, palms face forward. Pull your elbows down into swan. 
Nice. Reaching all the way up, really tall. Get taller from the deep of your belly up into your fingertips. Baby toe side of your feet are really engaging. And again, pull your elbows down into swan. How do you keep your feet engaged, reaching up? And then one last time, pull your elbows down into swan. Pause there, lifting deeply through the chest. Super nice. Drop your hands down to your knees and then turn your heels in whatever way you need to so that you can rest your hands on your knees and you feel comfortable with the direction that your toes and your knees are pointing in. And then bring your elbows to your knees. You might have to bring your feet a little bit narrower. Okay. So feel like your elbows are on your knees. You're sitting deeply down into your squat. Feet are really wide. Nice. Wiggle your toes, move your feet. What kind of movement is available in your feet here? Super. So bring your right hand to the floor in front of you, straight down in front of your face, your left elbow staying on your knee, and then stretch your right leg, bend your right knee, sit deeply down into your squat. Stretch your right leg, bend your right knee, sit deeply down. One more time. Stretch your right leg. Baby toe side of your foot is really engaging. The weight of my torso is resting into my elbow that's resting on my left thigh. And so I feel supported. Lengthen through your spine. Sink back into your hips with your weight. Create length, really deep length in the whole of your body. Imagine that you're spider woman or spider man on a roof. There's a sense of poise, a sense of connection through the whole of you. Nice, other side. Bring both elbows to your knees. Bring your left hand to the floor in front of you. Straighten your left leg. Bend your left knee, drop deeply down into your squat. Lengthen your left leg. So as always with knees and toes pointing, I'm really fine with whatever direction your feet need to point in for your knees to be healthy. Squat, one more time. Straighten the left leg and pause. So if you want to change the direction of your foot in any way, push into the baby toe side of your foot, pause. Imagine you're a spider woman, create length and connection through your whole body. So pull your shoulders away from your ears, create weight back into your pelvis as you lengthen through your spine. Baby toe edge of your foot is connecting, powerful through your legs. Nice, both elbows, both knees, pause for a moment. And then bring your right hand to the floor and then lean into the right hand, left knee and bring your right knee to the floor just behind your right hand. So now I've dropped my knee to the floor. So right knee is on the ground, left elbow is on the left knee, right hand is on the floor in front of me. And so Tuck your toe under so your toe is standing and slowly sit your bum back towards that heel. And so from this side, what I'm doing is this. I'm sitting back towards my heel and forward. One more time, sit back towards your heel. Whatever distance feels good for you, pause there. Super. Stretch your right leg out to the side. Bring both elbows, both knees. Other side. So bring your left hand to the floor in front of your face. Right elbow is really solid on your right knee. You can bring your right hand to your knee if you want to. I really like elbow. It gives me support. Bring all your weight right side. Bring your left knee to the floor. And then sit your bum back towards your heel. Rock forward. Bum back towards your heel, forward, bum back towards your heel. Quite Spider-Man-ish, isn't it? Be like, <laughs> nice. Stretch both legs, walk your heel toe, heel toe all the way in. Come sit on the floor, all the way down. Sit on the floor, roll into your ankles, big circles. Nice, bring the soles of your feet together, hold on to your ankles, sit up really tall as you lengthen through your spine. 
for me there's this really beautiful warmth in my feet um, there's a sense of fluidity and movement I can feel my ankles are alive as well ah, stretch out through your legs twist towards the right lengthen through your spine so my left hand is to the outside of my right knee my right hand is behind me I'm lengthening through my spine Feel the whole of your body, feel your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your legs, your hips, your spine. Nice twist to the other side, over towards the left. and come out come lie on the floor so have your knees bent your feet flat on the floor hands either long beside you or you can rest your hands on your belly and just pause just for the next few moments next few minutes take a moment to pause nice yeah so i think the um, the biggest principle or the most important principle of yoga exploration is listen to what's happening to you in your body and adjust accordingly, adapt accordingly, learn your capacity, the movement of today, your ability, how to expand that ability in slow and incremental steady point ste steps. Um, so how do you listen in wellness to your body? How do you cultivate a sense of, yeah, of connection and aliveness in your body? This is really awesome, guys. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for joining me. Ciao, ciao, Sloan.